Hello everyone, this is Derek from the OSTIF and this is a video to show you how to use Veracrypt to protect your data. So we've already installed Veracrypt and I'm going to show you how to create a encrypted container which is like a folder that you can place your files in and when you close the Veracrypt application no one has access to those files except for you when you reopen the application and enter the correct password. So here I've opened the application and we're going to create a standard Veracrypt volume. Next we're going to choose the location of our secure folder and we're going to name it. The file extension doesn't matter. Uh, Veracrypt will open any file extension and you can even name it file extensions such as JPEG or MP4 and uh, that allows you to further hide where your Veracrypt container might be from outsiders. So once we've named our new encrypted container we have to select the encryption options for our container. Uh, Veracrypt has some flexibility here where you can choose different algorithms that are all believed to be secure or it can even do what's called a nested cipher which is it encrypts your data with multiple different ciphers so if one has a vulnerability uh, your attacker would still have to break through multiple other ciphers so you can see here that I've selected one that encrypts it with AES, two fish, and serpent and this is probably the most secure settings that you can select for your encryption. Next we have to select how big we want our secure folder to be. I would err on the side of going larger because if you're adding data to this folder um, there's no way to adjust the size after the fact. You would have to create a new larger container and then transfer all of your data from your old container to your new one. So it's best to go as big as you can without taking up all the space on your hard drive. Next we have to select the password for our Veracrypt volume. It is absolutely critical that you select a very strong high entropy password. This means you don't use common words, you don't use the names of your pet or the birth date of you know your wife or something like that. You need to use highly random characters and numbers and symbols in order to make your password as hard to crack as possible. So at this step we are actually generating the keys that protect your data and Veracrypt uses among other things your mouse movements in this window in order to generate truly random data and you need to move your mouse around as much as possible and fill this bar as much as possible to get truly random data that's going to help generate the keys that protect your data. So once we're done collecting the random mouse movements we're going to hit the format button. Now depending on the speed of your computer, the speed of your hard drive, and the options that you've selected as well as the size of the volume. This can take a very long time at this step to actually create. Um, because I created something very small it's fast in this sample video but just be aware that it can take a while. So now we can see that we've created our secure folder. Um, if you look over toward the left of the screen you can see the secure folder file that I created. Now I'm going to show you how to open and use this secure folder so you can put your data inside of it and lock it so that no one can access it without your password. So first we need to select our file which is the file called secure folder that I put on the desktop in this example and then we're going to select a drive letter and this is because when you open these folders, they call it mounting these folders, they appear under your My Computer screen and they can be accessed as if you had just plugged in a thumb drive or an external hard drive or something like that. So you open your secure folder as a drive in My Computer and you can see the full process here. 
So here we can see that I've actually opened up our new secure folder and I'm placing our files that we don't want other people to see inside of this folder. Um, I just created some random examples, you know, naked photos or your tax returns or receipts from your online transactions. Just anything that you would want to keep private uh, can go inside of here and be protected. So once we've copied over our information, when you want to actually lock your folder again so that no one can access it, you want to hit the dismount button. And when you click this dismount button, that data cannot be accessed again without the correct password ever. So it is extremely important as well that you do not lose your VeraCrypt password to your volume as there is no way to recover it. Truly secure systems do not have recovery options. And finally, I'm showing one last time how to open the program from scratch and access your secure data. You open the application, you select a drive letter, you enter your password, and you open the folder. And you can see here that all of the files can once again be accessed. So that's it for this intro to Veracrypt. I hope it helps some of you understand how to use it and we'll get more of you to use it in the future. Um, if you want to support Veracrypt and other projects like it and support your privacy in general, uh, visit us at ostif.org and you can contribute through donating to us or you can contribute directly to the projects by emailing us and earmarking your donation for the project that you prefer. We hope to have more videos like this out in the future, including an advanced Veracrypt guide and guides for all of our supported projects. Thank you.